This is Alcor Life Extension Foundation, located in Scottsdale, in the state of Arizona. The largest organization and distinguished among a cryonics organization by its advanced technology and advocacy of a medical approach to cryonics. But what is a cryonics though? Cryonics is simply the practice or technique of deep freezing the bodies of those who have died of an incurable disease in the hope of a future cure. The word cryonics came from Greek, cryos, meaning icy cold, is the low temperature preservation of a humans who can no longer be sustained by contemporary medicine, in the expectation they can be healed and resuscitated in the future using more advanced medical technologies. And when they took them out, they transformed to the big door, the ice was perfectly safe. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it was kept, and obviously so that meant that they kept a well. So, like, if you, when you make something for the first time, sometimes you're like, oh, you know, like, if you're sewing it at something, you're oh, like, yeah. oh, I kind of messed that up. Did you guys do all right with him? Yeah, he did okay. Or, or for an amateur car preservation, he came out okay. But if you see the doers, see how you got the smaller ones that aren't quite so shiny and then they go up? Yeah, I noticed they're different sizes. Those, they're, they're all different ages. Those smaller ones you see uh. there are some of the first doers. And then as we go, the, uh, the tech staff had improved the... Cryonics procedures should ideally begin within the first one or two minutes after the heart stops, and preferably within 15 minutes. Longer delays place a greater burden on future technology to reverse injury and restore the brain to a healthy state and make it less likely that the correct original state can be determined. The whole process should be done within nine hours before the body goes to its permanent place. Blood circulation and breathing are artificially artificially restored, and a series of medications are administered to protect the brain from lack of oxygen. Rapid cooling also begins, which further protects the brain. The goal is to keep the brain alive by present-day criteria for as long as possible into the procedure. It is not always possible to respond so rapidly and aggressively, but that is all cause ideal, and it has been achieved in many cases. Once you got a big head. <laughs> If it's everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's everybody. Somebody thought about put, that. We could put two on each cell. So think of it like a totem pole. There's like ten yeah. in there. And then the whole body pod. Now, the idea of freezing people to 196 below zero Fahrenheit and preserving their bodies to the future sounds science fiction, but who knows? We may be able one day to return dead to life again. It just sounds great to us as a humans. Uh, I wanted to make sure we always had enough doer space. And this year seems to be